What's up, y'all? I'm back with a quick video. We're going to talk about jumping in and out of blackness. And uh, this is usually a tactic that so-called black people like to use on mixed people specifically. Um, and I noticed this a while ago how about how they align, say that mixed people jump in and out of blackness and all this other stuff. I mean, which could be true sometimes, but black people all the time, they jump in and out of blackness when it's convenient for them. All right, they try to act woke and they do the complete opposite. It's even a video, I mean, a book that I'm going to be reacting to even back over a century ago when it was documented or it was published. It was talking about how, about black people and why they do the stuff they do and, you know, their self esteem issues and how they always chasing after status. And um, it was talking about how um, black people always act pro black, but they're really not pro black. But um, you see this a lot with Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar is a definition of dark skin privilege. All right. He's a definition of jumping in and out of blackness when it's convenient for him. He used this woke, new woke order, this fake pro wax stuff to uh, make money. Because that's why we, black love and being pro black, it's nothing but a gimmick. It's nothing but a money grab. You see that with Dr. Umar. But especially with Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar talks all this pro-black stuff, spiel, and he does the complete opposite. He panders to all these liberal groups. And on top of that, he all, even with his uh, dating preferences, uh, he's always seen with light-skinned women, and he usually cheats on them with white women all the time. That's jumping in and out of pro, that's jumping in and out of blackness. But nobody says that when darker-skinned people jump in and out of blackness. All right. Um, a lot of y'all talking about why why can't he date light skinned women? He can date whoever you want to. I'm, but the, you gotta understand that Kendrick, not only is he he claims that he's pro black or FBA, he has this ideology that the darker you are, the superior you are. And how you notice that is because he made a song called "Darker the Berry." All right, and if you know anything with black people, when people say "Darker the Berry," They're basically saying the darker you are, the superior you are, and the better you are, and the deeper your roots are. So if you're not dark, then you're basically a peon, basically, which is a complete lie, and it's a complete BS thing that they made up for their self-esteem issues. But um, he walked around, made a song about it, all right, and he's always putting darker women in the in his videos, like poetic justice, but his real life actions don't don't reflect that. All right, that's how you know it's just being pro-black. It's a gimmick and just a money grab. And that's the only way he can promote himself. All right, and it's the same thing the book was talking about uh, many years ago about how blacks will act pro-black, but they're really not in real life. They do the complete opposite. That's the epitome of jumping in and out of blackness. All right, and uh, that book, I don't know if it was black rednecks and white liberals or the other book, but, um, they were talking about that. They were talking about how, you know, being black, being pro black is a gimmick and how many black people, um, were act fake, fake pro black to, because they made money off of it. And I remember J. Cole, I believe it was in the recipe song that he did with Lil Yachty about a year ago or two ago. Or two ago. And, uh, you could tell that he wrote his verse around that time period when people were acting extremely woke because that was a time period where they could clout chase and feed off of that pro-woke, pro-black dynamic. And J. Cole said that they make so much money of us being oppressed or something like that, I'm paraphrasing. They probably wish that we could stay oppressed because that's how they make money. And uh, also, you've also got these white liberals who make money off that. Or uh, you got people who run the Black Lives Matter BS or the Black... Uh, who made a lot of money off that woke, fake woke stuff. All right. So, um, yeah, being pro black is a gimmick. Black love is a gimmick. It ain't shit but a money grab. Um, and Kendrick Lamar as a definition, and most black people, period, are the definition of being pro black or being pro dark skin and doing the complete opposite. You cannot take people who are pro black serious, they have to be vetted. You can't be pro-black because you can't be pro 
a skin color that don't even exist or a nationality that doesn't even exist. But I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.